All right, so welcome to our night hacking interview, third one of the afternoon with um, Bernd Mueller. Um, so we're going to chat a little bit about bytecode, class loader, and class transformer. But before that, why don't you tell us a little bit about what yourself. Um, so you're a professor? Yes. Um, I'm a professor of computer science. Uh, I also wrote some books about uh, JSF, JPA. And are also uh, working on the uh, expert groups for JSF 2.2 and JPA 2.1. Cool. Um, and you were speaking earlier at the conference here at Javelands. Um, no, uh, the, the talk is uh, at 4 p.m. Oh, and okay. uh, <laughs> we'll be very glad if you attend my talk. So uh, please remember 4 p.m. in the Winter Garden. All right. Awesome. So. This is an interesting topic because I think this is something which has been possible for a while, but not a lot of people have taken advantage of. When did the APIs you're using for your class loading get added to Java? They appeared at uh, 1.5. Java 1.5? Yes. OK. But I think in the wild, there's very few people who are actually using this other than Yes. It's very unknown knowledge. And hopefully, uh, after the talk uh, and after the interview, it's, it's more uh, known. Cool. All right, so why don't you walk us through how we can hack our bytecodes. Yes. <laughs> so in my talk, um, I will first uh, talk about bytecode and then class loaders. But uh, at the end, I will show an example uh, to do some class transformation. And um, therefore, I will jump into uh, transformation. If you're uh, doing some uh, transformation, you have to define an agent. An agent is deployed um, by a jar, and you have to write something into the manifest. There is an attribute in the manifest uh, can retransform classes, so you should um, put it on true, and then you're allowed to retransform classes. Um, you have to register your class uh, transformer. There is an um, interface called class file transformer. And um, there is an instrumentation uh, API where you can add some kind of uh, transformer. So th these are part of the normal um, yes, Java core libraries. What package is instrumentation? Uh, the package is um, Java Lang Instrument. And it's oh. a public API, and everyone can use it. Probably it's not so, there are not so many use cases for application programmer. But um, if you're a framework developer, probably you will uh, already know it. <laughs> cool. So what can we do with this? Yes. OK. So let's jump into it. Uh, what I want to show you is uh, how you can pass all your unit tests. So this is a class uh, which will be tested. And uh, there are two simple methods. Uh, get the canonical class name. And if, it, if it's right, it will return um, get class, get canonical name. But uh, I will return uh, the wrong name. And there is also an add method which will which is assumed to return the sum, but uh, I will uh, return the product. See that? That's not incorrect for a certain class of numbers. <laughs> yes, but, <laughs> but in general, uh, it's not correct. So um, I will show you how uh, the unit test will pass. Very good. OK, so I wrote some simple unit tests. There are two methods. Yeah, I OK, so for three and four, that is not correct. Yet, yes. Zero and so zero, it would win. But <laughs> Yes, uh, so both tests uh, will not pass. So you get red uh, in your IDE, and uh, the test will not pass. OK, so um, is it complicated to, to convince JUnit that the tests are right? No, it's very easy. So um, if you try to do some transformation, uh, you have to implement the interface class file transformer. There is a transform method, which um, holds some parameters. But these parameters are not um, important at the moment. So please apologize that you can't read it. So the important thing is I will search for the assert class of JUnit. And for this class, I will call the method transform assert. No magic in there. Mm -hmm. This is the method, and I'm using Java Assist. You can use um, all bytecode manipulation um, 
tools you know, but I use uh, Java is, uh, Assist. And what I'm doing is um, I get a handle. So this um, CC is a handle of, of JUnit, and I get a handle for this assert class. So I'm asking the handle to get um, to give me all all the methods, um, all the methods defined in assert, and I'm searching for all the methods uh, starting with uh, assert, assert equals, assert true, assert false. Okay. And if you already looked into the classes uh, of uh, into the method bodies of of JUnit, they they are doing the tests, and uh, if the tests are wrong, they throw an exception. So uh. So all we need to do is have a method which doesn't throw an exception and it will pass. Yes. So this is uh, the trick. Um, Java Assist allows me to replace the complete body. And I replace it with uh, return. So it's very easy. All the methods uh, doesn't do anything. They simply returned. And that's all. So um, after that, um, I, um, I explained it in, in the slides before. Um, I will not do it now. You have to write um, a callback method called agent main. This is called if you contact uh, if you contact this agent to the VM. So this is callback method, and this callback method um, simply calls transform classes. And this simple uh, transform classes uh, runs what I show you before. So um, after that, I'm done. I'm finished. So um, what I have to, to change as the last part is in my class, which has to be tested, I have to ensure that the agent is loaded. And this is also very easy. There is a static uh, initializer, and I um, run the load agent method, and so uh, the agent is loaded. It gets the JUnit assert stuff, replaces uh, the method bodies, so no exceptions are thrown, and uh, the tests will pass. So it's kind of fun. It's not a, a real example, but probably you will imagine how to, to do it in your own. Yeah, so like, you know, a lot of people have probably heard of test-driven development, you know, going and fixing things, writing the tests first and fixing them. So this is um, bytecode-driven development. Yes, it's uh, not for real, but um, for example, for the German, and I think there are too many Germans here, um, <laughs> for example, you can use it simply for fun. <laughs> but also to to get more money from your boss. So this is uh, the trick, really. Very nice. Um, so any recommendations in practice for what people could use this technique for? Ah, if you used, uh, for example, um, Visual uh, Visual VM, um, there is some button to to instrument uh, the classes. And I, I haven't looked into the source code of Visual VM, but probably they will do it uh, the same way. They change all all the methods to to get some monitoring data in there. Yeah, yeah. So they're using a similar technique like this to instrument the yeah. classes for for monitoring inside of it. Um, and you know, certainly if you're using something like JRebel, they probably do something like this to. I'm not sure if if they do it the same way, but probably they are doing it much more intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, thanks very much for the short interview on the um, night hacking stage here at Java Helen. Thank you. And um, I hope you enjoy your session. And, you know, I will please do. hang around for the end of the conference and watch Bert's full talk at 4 p.m. Thank you. All right. So